Hi, today we're looking at a Ranger SS 3900 EGHP radio. It comes with the original box, original inserts, manual, power cord. There's going to be a stock Cobra microphone, handheld microphone. Um, comes with the uh, FC390 frequency counter, and it does work. The radio is in decent shape. Um, what I've identified is the volume is a little bit dirty. It's a little, a little bit dirty. So, um, the other thing I noticed, everything else works on it, except it's a just, it's a typical Ranger radio where it's just a little bit off frequency. Personally, if I recommend anything, I recommend this radio needs an alignment. Uh, I um, got this from an estate sale, and I have no previous knowledge of its history. I did take some pictures of the inside of the radio, so you can see. We're going to go ahead, we're going to do an air check so we can see how this thing works, make sure it receives, make sure it transmits. I'm going to show you a, um, a video of power supply, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, SWR meter, watt meter, to show that it's actually transmitting. Uh, let's look at the features here. It's got RF power, high, medium, low. The SRF meter, which does work, it's lit up bright. It's got a noise blanker, A and L. I have it off right now. SRF or SWR meter indicator for the S meter. Talkback on or off. Since it has talkback, it does have echo. RF gain, mic gain. Volume squelch, uh, band A through F, CW, FM, AM, upper side and lower side band. And it's got fine and coarse clarifier, channel selector. The uh, transmit receive light does work. And um, this radio, it's a dual final radio. Uh, it uh, does swing, and that's why it's got three power levels. So you can decide which if you want to key up low and swing like crazy. The Rangers known for their uh, loud radios with high swing. Um, let's see what the uh, specs on it are. The specs are uh, AM and FM. It's supposed to be nine watts on high. It does about 25 to 30 on sideband swing. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's go here and let's take a look. Let's see if there's anybody out here. Somebody's blown. Somebody saying hello. They're on the, goodbye. They're on the distance. Hello. Yeah, they're on their own. Whom they're doing what they want to do. Uh, let's go here, channel one. Noise banker does cut down the noise. Turn the squelch up. Break channel one. Lightning on the frequency. Yeah, go ahead, Bill. Hey, Mikey. I have a uh, Ranger SS 3900 EGHP here. Uh, I'm just testing it out. Got it from a state sale. Going to be putting it for uh, auction on eBay. How do we sound? I got it on the low low side, and it's swinging right now. Oh, it sounds good, man. I used to have one of those things. Real nice radios. Yeah, these things sound best with the uh, Silver Eagle uh, the Amplified D104, a static line of microphones. That's good. Thank you. You're sounding loud and proud of yourself. I just went up and down the dial. Somebody was whistling on channel 24. Didn't hear anything else. That's what happens when you got skip all day. Uh, how about if we take the lower sideband real quick so we can show that it works there? Okay, we're going to lower sideband. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90
slide almost a full channel. They're really, really sensitive, so you got to be uh, very conservative when you're tuning somebody in. Okay, Mike, I appreciate it. I just wanted to show that this thing works, and uh, I will catch you on the AM side a little later. So as you can see, it does work. We're going to go back to, I want to show you, it does have talk back, but the problem is we have an amplified mic. It squeals. It squeals. It just squeals. So you, if you're, if you're going to use the talk back and echo feature, you got to use it with a stock microphone. Let's go over to the uh, watt meter. I have it on the 20 watt scale. Okay, we're on AM right now. So let's see. Okay, it's decking about four. Man, I cannot whistle for nothing. So it's peaking around a little bit over a little bit over 10 when you're whistling. It's going to 15. And let's put it on sideband so we can see what it's doing. <whistles> Slamming it. So we're gonna go ahead put it on a 200 watt scale. It's about 30, 30, 32, maybe 33 watts. So it is modulating. Um, so basically that's that's the radio so i'm going to be pricing this competitively even though it's got the frequency counter even it's got every, one thing i want to point out to you i'll show you the box here in a second when i'm done pointing out the radio um even since it's a little bit off frequency uh since you got to tune it in uh since since the uh volume switch is a little bit dirty it's been obviously been sitting around for a while i really think it's, it needs an alignment so please when you buy it keep that in mind i'm going to be pricing it competitively uh, I'm going to be purposely pricing it underneath what all the others have sold, even though it's coming with the frequency counter, uh, because it's uh, definitely going to need an alignment. In my in my personal opinion, you need it. You might be able to use it without it, but I really, 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 really don't recommend it. Uh, we'll take a look. Let me disconnect the antenna, and let me disconnect the power cord, so we could be a little bit more mobile here. I'm sorry, it's very hard to do with one hand. Okay. There's the frequency counter. There's gonna be security tags on the radio. I'm gonna put security tags. So uh, if you decide to get it tuned up or open it up and tune it yourself, it's gonna show that the security tags have been taken off. This is the connector for the frequency counter. Okay, that's how it disconnects. Three pin power connector, which you're gonna get. Um, it's the underneath. What I wanna point out is and I'm going to show you in the box. Faceplate is chrome. There is some, there is some, it's hard to go in, but there are some divots, there's some wear. Again, I'm going to price it accordingly. Um, it's a chrome faceplate, as you can see. As you can see a reflection of me in there. Now, let's go ahead and let me show you the box. The box actually shows the faceplate as being with the uh, uh, Liberty and the American Spirit. But somebody, either the radio didn't come that way or somebody changed the faceplate out. So I want to make it, I want to be clear. That's not the faceplate on the radio. The faceplate on the radio is actually chrome. Okay? So it doesn't indicate what's on the box, even though it is the same model radio. SS3900EGHP. Okay, so that's the radio. That's what you got. It's gonna, it's gonna be seriously competitively priced. Free shipping to your door, and uh, just keep it in mind when you get it, it's gonna need an alignment. It's really my opinion that you're gonna have to get it. Thank you and have a great day.